Hi guys, welcome to Cinecary. Castle doesn't go on a drug fuel Scorsesian romp through Wall Street in the greater good, but it does introduce Gates' imposing sister as well as the notion that Castle could invite Stephen King to the wedding. We'd watch that. Castle and Beckett are trying to sculpt a small list of wedding invitees, but that Sisyphean task will have to wait. A Wall Street broker was found dead in his apartment, and the 911 call came from a mystery woman at a payphone. The gang thinks she's the murderer, although she turns out to be working for the US attorney's office. The week's case was a dozy, and most of it was caught up in its gumshoe mechanics. A big bad wolf, the head of the morally bankrupt brokerage, was a delightful, charismatic scumbag. Plus, our victim got slightly more due than some others on the show with his intriguing past and donating most of his hush money to rebuild his hometown in Venezuela. It's one of the few times you can respond to the insider trading with awe. A small note, but we were overjoyed to see Martha pouring herself a glass of wine. Susan Sullivan has been too absent from the show lately. Go get your list, Martha, and tell us dirty stories about everyone on it. Gates' sister was impressively crystalline in her coldness towards our captain, and Gates played the reunion perfectly. Maybe the actors did too good a job forcing sisterly hurt down under a mane of terse professionalism. We can't escape a sense that the show could have gone further. Has anybody else noticed that the consistently cute Castle and Beckett make wedding decisions B plots are getting less and less resolved? We're sure they will cut that list down after they finish making up, but does anybody remember if they actually settled the venue? The murder plot of the greater good was unfortunately pretty easy to call. Castle usually does a good job of building out red herrings or inserting something so whimsical it throws the viewer off. The fact that the payphone caller was working for the US attorney was supposed to disguise her guilty scent, but it actually confirmed her culpability as the case developed. Coming on the heels of a fun, wacky episode, The Greater Good suffers a little in comparison. It's solid and unobjectionable, but it's also castle coasting. Put Michael Connolly, Stephen King, and Wes Craven in a roller coaster ride together, and then we'll talk. This is all we have for now. Do tell us what you feel by leaving your comments below. But before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to Cinecari for all the latest short films, celebrity gossips and movie reviews.